So Shane, let's just talk about 2005, a brilliant Welsh rugby era, uh, part of that Grand Slam team, which was a Grand Slam, what, was the first one in 30 years or so, wasn't it? Yeah. What can you remember of that time? Uh, yeah, just, I think, <laughs> yeah, it was a long time, it was 17 years ago, and I was reminded the other day, but uh, I just remember, you know, it was a Grand Slam that came out of the blue, no one expected us to do particularly well in that Six Nations. Uh, we played out of our skins and, and obviously won the Grand Slam. I remember I had a dodgy hairdo, <laughs> uh, but I just remember enjoying uh, playing with the, the, the guys there and playing some fantastic rugby. Absolutely, and more specifically, obviously, the eve of England and Wales tomorrow. Um, that Wales and England game in 2005, I mean, we all remember that Henson winning kick, that iconic kick. What were you like as a player, though, on the pitch, watching him step up to the mark? Can you remember that moment? Oh, yeah, very nervous because he was touch and go, wasn't he, that game? Um, you know, it's uh, very fortunate to have scored early in the game and um, he put us instead to, to go and win it. But then Gavin Henson steps up the plate and takes all the shine off my try uh, and saves the day. But he was he was incredible <laughs> on that day. That was probably one of his best matches in, in a Welsh jersey and won the game for us. And helped us win the Grand Slam, so thanks, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And talking of uh, Wales and England, well, tomorrow, James, you are the final member of the Fab Four to hang up their boots, so I'll ask you as a more seasoned pro, if you don't oh, mind, Shane, you. um, give us your, your rundown of what's going to happen tomorrow at Twickenham. Uh, it's it's going to be tough. Uh, Wales never go to Twickenham, really, as, as favourites, so we know it's going to be tough, but we made a couple of changes, brought a bit of experience back in, Josh Adams coming back in and, and Toby. Um, so, yeah, we, like I say, we never go there as favourites, and you know, we look back to 2008, we went there, no one expect anything from us and then we are out of the game for 60 minutes and the last 20 minutes we came back and won so yeah you know they've got some good individuals in England but you know there's no reason why with our players we can't go there and win. So you, you're predicting a win are you? Picking a good game. <laughs> <laughs> what about you Shane? Well uh, yeah seeing as uh, James is so confident <laughs> I, I'll go with the Welsh win. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with James as well. Thank you very much guys enjoy today. Cheers, thank you.